Welcome to a new Let's Play with Summer Farm Estates. Balladon Farm. As always, my name is Patrick. We got rid of the Ford 6600. It's uh, steering a little too funky to enable it to load bales. Uh, we have purchased this old Renault, which will do the job nicely for us. is four wheel drive so on these hills if you get a bit of wet weather it will work nicely uh, we are today loading up these A bales yesterday we got our cows and sheep delivered you left us. And that is all good. We're not going to get any milk off them this year and probably won't get any wool off our sheep this year but they are there. They will be fed nicely over the summer, the autumn and winter and we'll put some wraps around that bale and then we shall go get the next bale go alongside of it get some hay taken to the yard today should get all this done today we need to get the weed sprayed and fertilizer applied then we can boost the yield of the crop a little we've got some silage up there still to go to the yard so we will take that at some point oh, now we've knocked the veil over Good start. Uh, this old bale trailer we've got ideal for now. And I'll go there. Got all the bales from the top. We shall just take this down the hill a little. One bale there didn't quite get far enough in. We should jump up there. Come on back up, pick up the Renault again. Yeah, she's a nice tractor. Seen a good bit of work. It's got the Profiline FZ60 front loader on it, which is brand new. Got a brand new bale spike and the rest of it is the old. It's the weight off the Ford 66. We didn't swap the weight out. It's been just a little bit of a waste of money swapping that weight out, and it's a perfectly good weight. It doesn't match the doesn't match the tractor but that's not a major issue for me. What 
you want here on the farm is something that's usable, especially at the moment, but just taking on the farm from Grandad. A lot of Grandad stuff has gone. Ford 65, Massey Ferguson 65 has gone. As has the Now the 6600 has also gone. We do plan on getting this farm somewhere back to where it used to be in Grandfather's day when he had, well at one stage there was 20 people worked on the farm, but last off because of the advance in equipment. I think he had half a dozen people working on here. Not sure we would ever get to that amount now in the modern era. As we build up, we would have to get ourselves some more modern equipment. Could well be that we don't build or are unable to get the amount of land we had here before because other farmers are not willing to sell what they have. We shall have this bale on now. We've got the first of our A bales over to the farm. We did take some hay over on the on the pallet on the bale spike just to get our animals started. And that's going to be in position. Not a lot of, we should just back this up here, get some of these bales lobbed on, this all needs spraying as well, as well as a bit of fertiliser dumping on it. We shall leave that there, go and pick up our 7630, great little tractor does the job we need it to do. We will then put the drone up and let you see us load some of this. We will come towards here a little more. There we have it. And we shall now put the drone up. And you can see us up oh, one bale there that we could have collected up, not to worry. gives you that extra couple of bales you can load on. We've got a good few bales off of here, which is good. We should just strap those on. Oh, 
behind the shed, stuck these in. It's now not in position, there we go. Get the next bail to the other side. This tractor are an all lot easier to use than the 6600. The same guy who bought the or who sold us the 7630 that is fully restored to purchase it. It would be interesting to see that once it is fully restored. bales down here, one where we was loading before that we forgot about. Although it's not too far away from the next lot. Too far there, so we'll back up a bit, get it in position. Too many bales left here by the time we've got them collected. We may get another cut, will just be A, or may not. Depends upon how soon our crops are ready for the combine to get going. position. And we need to go further down. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll take a couple of bales on the bale spike as well. Once we head down to the other yard, these two odd bales collected and get our soils in position where we are going in the right direction. We need to move. We've gone a bit too far again with the tractor. shed and we shall have to walk back and pick up our tractor. We'll have to check on the cows and the sheep once they're over there to make sure that everything's going to be fine there. We'll do. We shall take those as they are, I think. 
into the strap. We might get two more bales on there actually, so we can move the tractor further up the hill again. It's pulling it pretty well, which is good. Yeah, I've just about collected all of our A bales on this one load, so that's pretty good. So we shall now pop that there, which is good. Go and pick up the Renault. There are two bales here to collect. Next load, we shall take a few silage bales and two A bales with us. There we go, let's get this to the top of the L. Thing about this old girl, she does smoke a bit. She's not not a bad tractor at all, at least you can steer it, that's the main thing, the other one just used to wander off in its own directions at times, but... And we'll now... That bale on that side, the bales are moving, that's not good. We will strap that final bale on there, get it taken to the yard before all the bales decide to run off. There is a good another load here I think, so we may need to get ourselves a new bale trailer. We don't seem to ride very well on this one. Being in Ireland, they seem to settle themselves down a bit now, but Get this, whoa, 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 we've crashed. We've done a rowan. No, oh, that is not so good. We will have to go get the Renault tractor and tipple ourselves back over if we can. I did leave this tractor running actually, I even forgot to stop this, so that's not the best of plans when you've got tractors. So we will try and get this uprooted. And, uh, turn out at the gate a little slower. Next time, I think. Just have to pull up the trailer. Yes, it's alright, you picking your just Can't you see the traps has rolled over? Right, we can now. Picking at us too. Get between them. That's all we've done. Can go through their edge a little. These bales are going to take some shifting from where they are. See what we're doing. Work 
work quite well. It was in the right way. It was in the right order to. There we go. Pushing, so push, 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 that up on its wheels and we can free the traffic. There we have it. Lovely. Traffic is going. We should stop that tractor there. And when we turn into the gate we'll have to make sure we go slowly. It is good the way them bales are rocking when we first stayed, started off I thought dropping it over like that they'd probably fall off but take our time around the corner we want to tom poke it over again I probably saw the sign as we came in the gate. I've got our government subsidies sorted. There's a couple of the cows that we've got, three of the cows. Can't remember how many we had to deliver, to be perfectly honest, but the sheep are in the bottom field. We will now park here. I think our straw but our A bales. Robbling now, I think the hay bales. I think one of these sheds will be the best. That one's still got some seed on it. Well, let's just go and check, make sure we've got plenty of water. Get the top up with water, and then we shall check the food trough, which is over here. Yeah, they've got plenty to keep them going. We will now run back, pick up our there's the silage bales that we brought over off camera yesterday. We will now run over here to say this definitely needs the sprayer out tomorrow. So next time you join us, we shall be spraying. bungalow down there where he's settled himself in to retire Better time once you get back, no point taking the tractor empty. You can take something with you. It's always a good plan. Right now we should be able to get in there, connect up to those two bales. Uh, we've got him a bit up. <laughs> bit screw with but we've got two bales which is good and as we are taking this over to the yard that is where we're going to leave you for today we hope you've enjoyed this episode 
on Balladorn Farm with me, Patrick. Thank you to Summer Palm Estates for hosting our channels, our farm's work. Hope you've all enjoyed it very much. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment. Summer Palm Estates will pass any of your messages on to us. If you are new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the work that goes on here, please subscribe to the channel. Give that bell a ring, it will tell you when we do these videos, when we do our live streams. Until you join us next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day and goodbye for now. Goodbye.